Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the second module charting. In this lesson, we're going to go through how to change and how to add data series to your charts. Uh, remember that in Trader, when you call, when, when, when we talk about data series, we're actually talking about the instrument that you want on each and every single one of your charts. So let's go to uh, the Ninja Trader platform. And of course, the first uh, method to uh, uh, add a data series to a chart is by going and uh, to file and choosing a new chart. Uh, the data series box will be prompted out and uh, you can choose to uh, right here on the default uh, list of uh, products or you can click on these three little dots and go uh, to the instrument lookup. And as you can see here, we have 171 instruments. And if you don't want to go through all of them, and what you are looking are, for example, the coffee uh, futures that you can trade with Ninja Trader, you you just type coffee on the description and and uh, search for it. And right here, you can see that you have all the available coffee future contracts that you can trade with. Uh, um, the Ninja Trader platform, but let's say that we are, we want to look at uh, the e mini S and P 500, okay? And um, well, the e mini S and P 500 is the ES, and uh, if we want to look at that, we just click OK and add to a um, uh, to the chart, and that's the data series that we are going to be looking at. And let's say that we want to look at the four-hour chart on the e mini S and P 500. Okay, uh, we click OK and we just wait for uh, the data to load onto the new chart. Okay, so as you can see, the data has loaded on this chart. We are looking at the ES uh, uh, November contracts on the four hour chart, and uh, you can see that the actual uh, or the uh, um, the current price action is happening right here as we speak. Now, um there is an, there is two ways to add a data series to a chart once you are uh once you have the chart um in front of your eyes you can right click on um on the chart and go to data series or you can click this button right here uh that looks like three candlesticks that's called data series now you can't remove the original data series from the chart, but let's say that you want to add the data series to this chart because uh, what you really want is to trade uh, the Euro US dollar and, and you want to know how um, much these two instruments are uh, trading like or alike. So you go to Forex, you choose Euro US dollar, and now you will have uh, two charts within one chart. So you can further analyze how much one instrument is correlated with the other, okay? And as you can see right here, we have the e mini S&P 500 chart, and at the bottom we have the Euro US dollar four hour chart. And if you like to add another data series to your chart, for instance, the gold, uh, uh, the four hour gold uh, futures contract, you can do so by just um, uh, adding a new data series to your window or to your chart. And um, this is actually very functional if uh, you are trading uh, different markets and um, if you are analyzing different markets but want to trade the same side of the market. I mean, for instance, if you are looking at the Euro US dollar, you know that the, this is a uh, uh, negative correlated with gold and um, by adding a new um, uh, data series to your chart you can know how much or how uh, this negative correlation is uh, working at the moment okay and uh, basically if you want to get rid of all of the other data series but not the original one you just go to here and remove uh, the Euro/US dollar remove the uh, gold uh, futures contracts and uh, of course you cannot change or remove data series until your private request has completed loading and uh, the 
one that is loading at the moment is gold so we're going to wait for that and I'm going to show you uh, um, afterwards uh, how does deleting data works okay so you can see that here we have deleted the, um, the gold um, uh, data series and uh, we are about to delete uh, the e mini s p 500 so we remove the e mini s p 500 and we are left only with the euro us dollar chart